Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. This is part one of a series on design of experiments. In this video, I demonstrate the use of basic design of experiments templates in Sigma Excel, and it assumes that the user has knowledge of design of experiments. The DOE templates are similar to other templates in Sigma Excel. Simply enter the inputs and the resulting outputs are produced immediately. The DOE templates provide common two level designs for two to five factors, the following templates can be found by clicking Sigma Excel, Design of Experiments, Basic DOE Templates, 2-Factor, 4-Run, Full Factorial, 3-Factor, 4-Run, Half Fraction, Resolution 3, 3-Factor, 8-Run, Full Factorial, 4-Factor, 8-Run, Half Fraction, Resolution 4, 4-Factor, 16-Run, Full Factorial, 5-Factor, 8-Run, quarter fraction resolution 3 and 5 factor 16 run half fraction resolution 5. I'll now demonstrate the use of the 3 factor 8 run full factorial template. In order to use this template simply populate the cells highlighted in yellow. For this video we'll use a completed example. Open the file doe example robust cake .xlsx. This is a robust cake experiment adapted from the video Designing Industrial Experiments by Box, Bizgard, and Fung. The response is taste score on a scale of 1 to 7 where 1 is awful and 7 is delicious. The five outer array reps have different cooking times and temperature conditions. The outer array was a two-factor full factorial plus center point, hence five replications. The goal is to maximize mean and minimize standard deviation of the taste score. The X factors are flour, butter, and egg. Actual low and high settings are not given in the video, so we'll use the coded minus one and plus one values. We are looking for a combination of flour, butter, and egg that will not only taste good, but consistently taste good over a wide range of cooking time and temperature conditions. Scroll down to view the Pareto of absolute coefficients for average y. The BC, butter-egg interaction, is clearly the dominant factor. The bars above the 95% confidence blue line indicate the factors that are statistically significant. In this case, only BC is significant. The significant BC interaction is also highlighted in red in the table of effects and coefficients. The rule of hierarchy states that if an interaction is significant, we must include the main effects in the model used. We will look at this more when we run a multiple regression analysis on this data. The R-square value is given as 27%. This is very poor for a designed experiment. Typically we would like to see a minimum of 50%, with above 80% desirable. The reason for the poor R-square value is the wide range in values over the cooking temperature and time conditions. Later, we'll analyze the mean response as an individual value rather than as five replicate values, which will produce a higher R-square. The standard deviation as a separate response will also be of interest. If the responses are replicated, Sigma Excel draws the blue line on the Pareto chart using an estimate of experimental error from the replicates. Scroll down to view the Pareto of coefficients for standard deviation Y. Because the standard deviation is unreplicated, length pseudo-standard error is used to calculate the significance line at 0.755. The A, or flower main effect, is clearly the dominant factor, but it does not initially appear to be statistically significant based on length's method. Later, we'll reanalyze the standard deviation in the model using multiple regression. The Pareto chart is a powerful tool to display the relative importance of the main effects and interactions, but it does not tell us about the direction of influence. To see this, we must look at the main effects and interaction plots. Click Sigma Excel, Design of Experiments, Basic DOE Templates, Main Effects, and Interaction Plots. Looking at the main effects plots would lead us to conclude that the optimum settings to maximize the average taste score would be flour equals one, butter equals one, and egg equals one. But the interaction plot tells a very different story. The resulting plots with different slopes shows that the butter-egg two-factor interaction is very prominent. 
The correct optimum settings to maximize the taste score is butter equals minus one and egg equals plus one. Now, considering the standard deviation, since flour is the most prominent factor in the standard deviation Pareto, looking at the main effects plots for standard deviation, we would set flour to plus one to minimize the variability in taste scores. Now I'll use the predicted equation. Click on the three factor eight run DOE sheet. At the predicted output for Y, enter one for factor A, flour, minus one for factor B, butter, and one for factor C, egg. The predicted average, Y hat, taste score is 5.9, with a predicted standard deviation, s hat, of 0.68. Note that this prediction equation includes all main effects, two-way interaction, and the three-way interaction. Now we'll consider the use of multiple regression, which is an optional advanced analysis to complement the template. In order to run multiple regression analysis, we need to unprotect the worksheet. Click Sigma Excel, Help, Unprotect Worksheet. In the coded design matrix, Highlight columns A to ABC and the calculated responses. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Regression, Multiple Regression. Click Next. Select Average, Y, and click Numeric Response, Y. Holding the Control key, select B, C, B, C, and click Continuous Predictors, X. Click OK. The resulting regression report shows an R-square value of 92.85%, which is much higher than the earlier result of 27%. This is due to our modeling the mean response value rather than considering all data in the outer array, which has more variability than would be the case if they were pure replications. Note also that the C-main effect, which is egg, now appears as significant. Now we will consider the standard deviation. Click on the sheet 3 factor 8 run DOE. With the coded design matrix highlighted as before, click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Regression, Multiple Regression. Select Standard Deviation, Y, and click Numeric Response, Y. Select A, and click Continuous Predictors, X. Click OK. Factor A, flour, now shows as a statistically significant factor affecting the standard deviation of taste score. Another optional tool we can use is Excel's Equation Solver to verify the optimum settings determined using the main effects and interaction plots. Click on the sheet 3 factor 8 run DOE. At the predicted output for Y, enter 1 for flour. We are setting this as a constant because flour equals plus one minimizes the standard deviation. Reset the butter and egg to zero. Click data, solver. The solver parameters were preset with this worksheet. Cell J11 is the Y hat predicted average taste score. Solver will try to maximize this value. Cells H12 and H13 are the actual factor settings to be changed. Cells I12 and I13 are the coded factor settings with the following constraints. Click Solve. The solver results are given in the predicted output for Y and agrees with the solution obtained by using the main effects and interaction plots. Butter equals minus one and egg equals one. Solver indicates that the solution was found. Click OK to keep the solution. In conclusion, this will help us to bake a cake that consistently tastes great. These DOE templates are ideal for learning and creating basic two-level design for models with two to five factors. In the next video of this series, we will explore a more powerful menu-driven two-level factorial screening design tool, which can potentially accommodate up to 19 factors with randomization, replication, and blocking. This concludes the tutorial video for Design of Experiments Templates, part one of three in our DOE video series. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.